guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 5, Episode 1 of Game of Thrones. This time the title of the episode is The Worst to Come. And I'm excited to continue watching. I'm excited that I did took a break. A, it was a one week break for YouTube, but two week breaks for Patreon. And I apologize for that because I, I really didn't realize that until I was posting on YouTube and I said after that I was going to do the one week. But anyways, I'm here to continue reacting to Game of Thrones. As usual, you're gonna have this reaction video full uncut reaction on Patreon if you guys want to support the channel in that way because some episodes of Game of Thrones get demonetized, but it's okay. As long as they don't block the videos, I'm okay with that. So yeah, I'm excited to continue watching. Uh, and uh, the season four finale ended up in a high note uh, with the world expanding even more. Uh, Stannis is up on the north with uh, the Night Watch and the lady, the lady in red, Melisandre. Melisandre. She's there as well with her freakyish thing with the Lord of the Lord of Light. Then you have uh, uh, Tyrion who had an unexpected turn, kill Tywin and. Uh, Shay as well, uh, and now he's on the run because you know uh, uh, Jamie uh, helped him escape, uh, but he's with Br Br uh, Sir. Uh, what is the name of the bald guy? Uh, virus? Virus? Is that how you pronounce? It? I don't know. Uh, then uh, Arya is going to Bravos, and well, um, Sansa. Is uh, on the veil with a little finger, and I don't trust little finger at all. And uh, yeah, well, the world is expanding. Uh, well, in the other side, you have um, Danny trying to handle her her dragons, but not being able to do it. Uh, I don't think the dragons necessarily wanted to kill the baby, the the kid, but. In, it turned out to, in result, to uh, kill them. How can you train them not to kill people? At least not the people you don't want them to kill. I don't know, it's gonna be harsh. So yeah, I'm excited to continue watching. I hope that you guys... Oh, and Bran? Bran also, he is with... He found the children, which is the ch children of the forest. And he found an old man. And I don't know what the hell is... Like, out of all the storylines on Game of Thrones, that is the one storyline that, one, intrigues me the most and is the one that I least understand. <laughs> it's so frustrating for me because I love that storyline, but for the love of God, I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I, I don't see the bigger picture yet. So yeah, I'm excited to continue watching. I hope you guys are as well. Give us a thumbs up if you love Game of Thrones. This week on YouTube, you will only have one reaction, but next week we kick off, kicked off with at least a three, at least two. Possibly three. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm excited to continue watching this show. It's so good. And that's about it. Let's just begin with the season five premiere for Game of Thrones. Okay, here we go. You don't need to be afraid of my father. Who's that? Is this Cersei? Why do I think that that's Cersei? Is that a lion? You're boring. You That's actually right. I know. My that. Tell me my So who's that supposed to be? Two boring eyes gouged out of your head. <laughs> Shit. To cast you down and take all you hold dear. Shit. That's Cersei, right? Well, the king and I have children? <gasps> the king will have twenty children. Oh my god. Their shrouds. <gasps> oh they're gonna die? All of them are gonna die? <laughs> Cersei! Cersei, I told you, I know my queen. There she is. What the hell are you doing? Cersei, what the hell are you doing? You do realize that I'm the only one in your corner, right, Cersei? Because everybody else hates you, but I still love you, even though you're a savage. But look at her, she's so, she's so precious, like... Look at her. <laughs> Just be careful, because this bitch might kill you. Be careful, she's gonna kill you. 
Your Grace, many of these lords and ladies have traveled day and night. She doesn't give a fuck. Seven kingdoms. She doesn't give a fuck. She doesn't give a fuck. She's a queen. Oh my god, yes, they pain shit. Like, why do they do that? And this time it was Tyrion. He died in the toilet. I don't. <laughs> Jamie is always so surprised by the shitty things that she says or do. I love that. But still, he loves her. I mean, same Jamie. Like, I mean, she's not my sister, thankfully. But I do love her as well. Uh, he needs a shower. <laughs> so, has he pee and shit inside of that? To stuff your shit through one of those air holes. Oh my god! Um, I only know what it's like to pick up your shit and throw it over. <laughs> oh my god. That is disgusting. Aye, <laughs> Tyrion. Oh, in goes more. Why? I thought they didn't have... Who is he? Is he supposed to be... Uh, very warm? He's supposed to not have nipples as well. He has nipples. So he's easy he mm. Yeah, I guess this is more... Meaningful to him than sex. Also, he doesn't have a dick, right? I love a queen. I was afraid that they recast him. Great Worm. Here. Oh, the kid. He's big now. How many brothers can say that they killed a White Walker and a Thane? True. the first in history. That is true. You agree with Sam? One hates me. Let's just say he hates everyone. Oh, play with Sam. She's so beautiful as well, but she creeps the fuck out of me. The stand is living in the top. Dog, Alexandre, what are you doing? But she's so beautiful though. <laughs> Look at John. Virgin. No. No. There's a lot of things he didn't knew, but. John? The head on a spike. That's good. I hope so. Take Winterfell and I'll give them land to live on. It's a fair offer. More than fair. Yeah, more than fair. Their lives and their yeah, you don't have that. Look at my look at Sam's accent. I saw what like a girl with palsy. <laughs> this bitch. Look at Sam's hair. All in black. The bitch is dead. Ding dong, the bitch is dead. And that is true. But she was close to Sansa. Why did she left? Oh, uh, oh, the veil. Shit. You told Lord Royce from the There's Sansa! Uh, bring in! To a land where you trust everyone. To a land. Her voice has changed. Now uh, look, you were so close, Brienne. I love how, you know, they, they go like this. Oh, look. Oh, my child. Thank you so much for your kind words. And she didn't even hear. <laughs> it wasn't my wounds that needed healing. Oh, he's the one with the long hair. Ready to dole out mercy. Yeah, I don't think she will go or there. Justice. So she killed Robert with the wine. I will pray for your father's soul. <laughs> or is it because of the fact that she, the she gave him too much wine? Mercy well. Lannister is your mother by law. Yeah, true. Perhaps. 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 Gonna Perhaps. get her killed? No, don't, don't. You are many things, my friend, but not a coward. Yeah, that is true. He's not. 
Look at him! He's in your clothes. You never told I believe men of talent have a part to play in the war to come. Do you believe in the law of light? Because you're something like one. Father with a crossbow. He deserves it. Yeah, try. I what think you is it you want exactly? Yeah, what is it? Good luck finding him. Her? Who said anything about him? Yeah, he's talking about about uh, Daenerys Targaryen. You have a choice, my friend. You, you want him to help Danny? I like that. I like that he's going to be with. I hope Danny doesn't kill him. Though. Stop the choice. I'm not a politician. I'm a queen. Yeah, true. Forgive me, queen. Before you understand. <laughs> oh, shit. Whatever he wants from me, he's not going to get it. Oh. If he really believes. I'm gonna you. So it all worked out. That's what he's trying to say. And you find your way Good in the queen. weirdest places. Um, maybe they're gonna be really upset that you locked them in. You couldn't come in the, during the day. Like, I get that you're their mother, but. She, she makes me anxious. You're gonna screw up or something, I know this. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Shit. I told you they were gonna be upset. Scared me a little bit. I was waiting for it and then I wasn't and then I got scared. As always. And save your people. Yeah, it's it's about that exactly. They followed me because they respected me. No, because, because they had to. Me. And there's no one left to sing. Yeah, when when is when is the right time to You're a good lad. give give in? Truly, you are. But he has beliefs. But if you can They have lived as free men, and this kind of goes with hand in hand with what Varys was saying. You know. About the fact that we they are so used to do the things that they do to commit the horrors that they always commit and all that. Because they believe that there's no other option. That's another option. Standing up for what you believe. Be free. Yes, you kind of should have given, but then everything will have been a lie. And he, he's not allowing himself that. And he's dying a free man. Oh shit. Oh. Don't smile, this crazy bitch. <laughs> Who did that? John. <gasps> uh oh. I don't, I, I don't think that was part of the plan, John. God damn it, don't. I don't want him to die. He needs to stop doing this shit. Okay, guys, that was the end of season five, episode one of Game of Thrones. Uh, this was a really good episode, and uh, as always, like Game of Thrones, like I, I don't believe that there's an episode that I haven't liked. I might be confused by some episodes, but to say that there's an episode that I didn't like, I don't. Honestly, I don't. I don't think so. At least it hasn't come yet, and I don't think it will come, because the, the, the stakes are so high and all that, that you you really, how can you, like, decide that one episode is better? I don't know. Anyways, but this episode was good. Season 5 premiere, strong, um, it, it begins strong, as always, and uh, I think that all of this, all this insanity that is happening is just crazy. Um, we have the first few scenes are with Cersei, and I, I don't know if that's Cersei, who was that other, um, woman, like the other girl, who was that? Because if that's Cersei, who, uh, I don't see Cersei has friends, <laughs> I'm the only one who recorded like I said, um, uh, but you see, says from a young age, how Cersei was, and and I think that this is one of the reasons why people don't understood why I liked her, and it feels to me that it's kind of like a like it, that has been a spoiler, because you know uh, Cersei has 
in my eyes, has changed so much from season 1 to season 5. Uh, I have not knew about her growing up. I, I, you know, I have always made the parallels between Sansa and Cersei. Like, Cersei started out as being as this innocent child, just a Sansa. And that was my, that is how I, I saw them, you know, because for me, Sansa was like back season one, season two, uh, Sansa was in the same position as as Cersei was one day, you know, when she was promised to marry the king, to marry a prince, she was supposed to marry a Targaryen, and then the Targaryen said no, and they, you know, and then she married Robert once he, uh, to consolidate the union between the Lannisters and the Baratheons, and put the king there, and like, and war and all that. Uh, so in in a way, I I, I kind of saw them as similar. That is where my love for Cersei began, uh, and the fact that people have told me that oh, but Cersei's evil. It is not the way she was raised and things like that. It kind of has been like now I realize it kind of has been like a spoiler because I didn't knew these things and like now I'm finding out a lot more about her and you kind of see this flashback with her just being you know ruthless and I'm gonna take your eyes out and um, you have to do this for me because this is my my father's land and by you know extinction they are my lands and I'm gonna kill you and like you see all the, these things that have been with her for a long time that are these things are what she is right now so just try to be careful with the things that you say about characters uh, for instance let's just say that right now I think that Danny is afraid that Danny um, um, is a good leader but she's confused and all these things don't say to me, oh no, but she she's better and she's this, she's that, because you do have more information than I do, you know, and that is where I get confused and my ideas on characters uh, will change since you are feeding me things that are not happening yet. Try to focus on the fact that I just watched this episode, I just know all that has happened until right now and I don't know about future seasons you know uh, I do like Cersei like I said I have had a different way to look at Cersei you know I still believe the things that I said on the f first few seasons about Cersei you know trying to be better because she was never the loved one it, Tywin was always about Jaime and and she wanted to take that place in some ways you know and uh, all other information about Cersei being evil, Cersei being this and that, and the, like things that will happen in the future, try to not spoil it, spoil it for me. Try to go with the things that I say about the character in the moment that I'm, I'm watching it, you know. Uh, like I said, Cersei in this episode, we get this flashback. I understand a little bit better what you guys meant that I shouldn't know because that's kind of spoiler for me. But um, going with that, you kind of see how ruthless she is, how she has always been like this, and uh, it does make me change a little bit of the perspective I have for the character. Uh, I, I still believe he's a fantastic character with so many layers, and that is what draws me to it. And uh, but she is definitely not a good person. <laughs> she's not. She's not. She's she's ruthless. Like I said, she's vindictive. She is looking out for herself, but I do believe that she's looking out for herself because I don't think anyone else does, has done that. Now, she says she has the upper hand in, with Marjorie because um, the witch told her you will be replaced by someone younger, beautiful, and you will be replaced. That doesn't necessarily... Cersei, I believe the Cersei is going to focus on the fact that Marjorie wants to marry Tommen or wants to marry Tommen. Uh, I believe that that's what she believes is her immediate threat. I don't necessarily believe is Marjorie. I believe that the witch or whatever this... whoever this person was, she was... is that... kind of look like... like... Oh, Osha? Osha? Because we don't know anything about Ricky. 
Rika and Osha, right? That's her name. I don't know. Uh, but she said to her, like, what she said to her, I believe that she might be talking about Danny. Danny's also younger, beautiful, and all that. So, I don't know. But Cersei is not someone, like, I do have to give this to everyone who says that. Cersei is not the one who has, like, she's not like Tyrion. Tyrion plans things ahead, ahead of time. He's able to see things ahead of time, see the bigger picture. Cersei's not so much for that. Cersei believes that in her immediate circle, there are, like, people who's going to betray her and things like that. And she takes actions in the immediate, um in her immediate circles, like, you know, it's not like she thinks ahead or, or she thinks what this will mean to me in the future, you know, I don't think she does that and I think that is one of her weaknesses, you know, uh, but we will see that, that promises a lot, the fact that the Tywin is dead, the fact that, that now Tommen will have only um, Marjorie's whispers, in his ear, how that is gonna change. He seems pretty damn in love with Marjorie. I mean, same little dude, like, I will be in love too. Uh, but we will see how that is gonna affect King's Landing and all that. Cersei, of course, it doesn't seem like she's gonna marry Loras. She doesn't give a shit about him. And I love that. I love how, how, how Cersei just walks around. She knows she owns the place and she doesn't have to make an effort to be anyone, like, anyone she doesn't want to be. Like, she could be the ruthless, ruthless bitch that she is. People will have to take care uh, of her, like, and, like, you know, be, um, like, listen to whatever it is that she has to say. Like, she came in and she was like, I need a moment alone. And they, they the guy was like, yeah, but there's people, you know, and, and they want to see it. And, like, she was like, I don't give a fuck. And she just went, <laughs> and I love those things about her. Um, yeah, anyway, so, in the other side of the country, we have Varys and Tyrion. What Varys offer him, I sometimes, you know, Varys and Littlefinger, they seem like sometimes they move things around Westeros and all that. Like, people get so anxious and, like, so greedy about power that they don't see these other players actually moving things around and they, they are the ones who set in motion a lot of things and Varys in this opportunity he said we need a king or we need someone on the Iron Throne that is not gonna be a fool it's not going to be as uh, as weak as Tommen not as harsh as Stannis someone in the middle who will in part justice, but also will be loved by the people. That obviously that's not Cersei because we don't everybody hates her. <laughs> that means Danny, and I was like, oh, he's talking about Danny. Actually, when he was saying that, it kind of reminded me of Jean and Danny, because I was like, no way, but Jon, what will do? Like he doesn't have a, a claim to the throne. He doesn't have the name or anything. So who the fuck? And then I came out with, oh, it's Danny, the Targaryen. She has a name. So, uh, but when he, when they talk about you know having the heart of the people and be the leader, I, it always comes back to Danny and 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 Jean because both of them, even though they are in opposite sides of the world, both of them are leader leaders in their own way. They have a a, a sense of like I said, leadership, uh, compassion. Both of them. Uh, they're good with wars, and they, they, I feel, they like have their heart in the right place. Uh, but, you know, I don't know, I find those two, like, those two characters, even though they are so far away from each other, so similar, you know? Um, but yeah, anyway, so you have that, and, like, will Tyrion help? He said, you know, I can drink on my way to Mirian, and we will see what that is going to be. He's going to meet, uh... Uh, with Danny, will Danny say yes to him? Will she say? Well, technically, he has killed two of her enemies. Will that score her points with her? Will that score him points with her? With I don't know. Um, I was gonna say something about. Uh, I forgot. It will come back to me. 
about Tyrion. Oh, isn't isn't like so fantastic also how karma works? Uh, what is his name? Overing, Overing. He died, Overing, Oberin. Okay, he died trying to save Tyrion's life, but at the same time to avenge uh, his sister. He wanted to kill the mountain, and I'm pretty sure he wanted to kill Tywin for giving the order. Uh, Overing died fighting for Tywin, for, for Tyrion. Uh, he died, and then Tyrion is the one who killed Tywin. So, it kind of worked out, you know what I mean? I don't know. That, that's what I wanted to point out, the fact that I find it funny that he died for Tywin. For, Ty for Tyrion, and Tyrion killed the person he hated, which was Tywin. Of course he didn't do it for that, but it turned out that way, you know? Uh, we don't know what they were doing, though, with, uh, with the mountain. I don't know, because he was about to die, and the other guy said that he would experiment and do shit. Um, then you have, on the other side, uh, Danny. Still, you know, not wanted to play when you're a queen I believe and when you're in this position of power you have to play both sides and by both sides I mean you have to be God and you have to be the devil sometimes you have to do it to have some balance you know uh, you cannot try to make everything the right way and just go with the this is the right way just impose what you believe in which is okay yes because she free people and all that but also if there are people asking for something and you're not listening to them because it goes against your things against your ideas then you will not have that people that support you and love you you know because you are kind of not allowing them to be free you know um and by freedom, you mean freedom in the entire sense of the word freedom. If they want to make mistakes, in, in well, not make mistakes, want to make mistakes, but if, if you want them to, if you really want to give them freedom, you have to allow a lot of things, you know, even if you don't agree with it. Um, and people are afraid, like, are afraid of her, or at least she rules being a little bit afraid because of everything, like, she has so many titles, so many things, that she's not able to hold everything, you know, in place. So we will see how that's going to turn out. Uh, also, the, the I knew that dragons were going to be pissed, and they are. They are pissed with their mother. It's going to be insane once... She actually, I think that she needs to trust herself a little bit more uh, so she can regain her power again with her uh, dragons. So we were going to see what's going to happen there. Then you have a uh, little finger. Well, I don't trust that. I don't trust a motherfucker. I honestly don't. And the, like Sansa's voice has changed because it used to be so like peachy, like peachy, like really high. And now it seems like a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. And it suits her 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 uh, her wardrobe as well, because it's all black. And uh, they send the, uh, what was his name? The little kid. The one who breastfeed until like a month ago. Uh, he uh, was sent so he can learn how to fight and all of that. We'll see how that's turn gonna turn out. Uh, and then he's taking her to uh, Wes. And it's so amazing that in this world they cross paths, but you never know. And you never uh, know where they have been. And it's just so amazing that sometimes the world feels so bigger, but in moments it feels like it's just a napkin and like you're gonna find everyone in any place. But yet they don't see each other. It's, it's fantastic that they do that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see. I don't know. I don't trust Littlefinger. I don't know what she wants to do with Sansa, but we're gonna see it uh, in the next episode, I guess, or the future episodes. I don't know. Uh, what else did ha happen in this episode? Did I say Danny? Well, the last part with with Mans, and I understand. I understand Mans 
uh, ideas. I understand that he didn't want everyone to believe that that is the only way. That He didn't want to risk people. He didn't want that in his conscience. He, when he promised them, you know, to be free and to cross the, the wall, to have lands and all that, I believe that he meant it, that he didn't want them to be anyone's slave, and he didn't want that in his conscience. And, and I believe that he died true to himself. I mean, yes, he did. Because I believe that that also relates to what Bavaris was saying about, you know, um, we're so used to the horrors that we don't see it other way. And I believe that, you know, Stannis, John, everyone sees them, like, for them, uh, bend the knee and that's that's it you know and it's so often used so often that's how they live they don't see another way they don't see the way of them being free of deciding to follow someone if they want to go to war it has to be a war everyone believes in and not a war that uh, you are forced to go and in that way he died true to himself and I mean I like that uh, you know there's compromise as well but they decided to do it this way. Now, Jean, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I believe that he's gonna get himself in trouble for what he just did. Stannis is not someone who just uh, forgives that easily, unless Melisandre has something to say about it, so we'll see how that's gonna turn out. But he was supposed to die uh, in fire, but like, burn, sorry. Burn. He was supposed to burn alive, and he didn't. He took like uh, John took that away from him, and I think that in in a way he respected men's, and he knew that hey, at least die, and people will remember you for everything that you did, and not because you were screaming and because you don't you didn't deserve this this death. We're gonna see what's gonna happen with that man. I don't know. I don't want him to get in any trouble. That is the thing. Uh, Melisandre is just so weird asking if he's a virgin. <laughs> that was really funny. But yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed my reaction video and my review. I hope that you guys continue supporting. I know you guys are, you know, you guys love this show so much. And sometimes it's complicated not to spoil things. I fully understand and I fully understand also that when people were talking to me about Cersei, they didn't mean to spoil anything. Uh, but only thing I will ask for now on is that you discuss with me about the episode. For instance, in this episode, I'm, I'm just making things up, but in this episode, Cersei was a wonderful mother. I don't care if in the next episode she kills every single one of her children, okay? If in this episode I say she's wonderful, let's just try to focus on this episode. You can argue about that episode. Don't mention future... Uh, things that will happen with the character, how the characters will change eventually, you know? Because that is a spoiler, you telling me, oh no, she's evil, when I didn't see that she was evil, and then I was gonna find out, it's kind of like spoilers, you know? So yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed, like I said, give it a lot of thumbs up. If you love Game of Thrones, subscribe to see more reaction videos, because I do reaction videos for a lot of shows, and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. If you are a patron, episode 5 of 2, will be posted tomorrow, Friday, um, and next week here on YouTube. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much. Guys, I will see you next time for another reaction video for Game of Thrones. Mwah. Bye, guys.